Hello everyone, let's continue right along. Let's right click on web 8, copy it and paste it as web 9. On web 9, I'm going to right click, go to properties, web, web project settings and change web 8 to web 9. Okay. Now here in the web 9 project, I'm going to go to Java resources. And in this tutorial, we are going to actually handle the form submission when it goes through OK, right? So previously we handled the errors. Now, what do we actually do with this thing, with this form when the submission is goes well? So here you see, we ended with if there was get attribute errors, if it's true. But here, what if it's it's started off as false? And let's say we did not find any errors and it remained false. Well, in this case, let's let's see what we do what we actually do when the form goes well. So here. Okay, so here I'm actually going this is actually has a wrinkle to it, and I'm going to show you what we want to do. Okay, so Let's actually create a new passenger object. So this is where passenger comes in. Passenger P equals to new passenger. Okay. And let's set on the, I'm going to import the passenger model. This is our uh, passenger object from right here. And now, I'm going to do if there is no error, I'm going to set the information on the passenger object. So P set, set first name, and I'm going to give it first name. Else, if there was no error in the last name, I'm going to do P set last name in, in this going to be last name. Okay. Date of birth, the same thing. If there was no problem, I'm going to p set dob and I'm going to give it our dob date object. Lastly is the gender. I'm going to p set gender and remember gender is actually this enumeration. So for the gender I will have to use the enumeration. Um, okay actually this for the gender it's done a little bit differently. So we use the enumeration gender, and then we use the method value of gender, right? So we get a string. Uh, I think I have to, oh, okay, I have to just import or something. What happened here? Okay, so this is home airline so i think i just need to import that class okay let's so let's import it by hand import com dot airline dot models dot gender okay you see now the error is gone now <laughs> so we use we use the gender enumeration value of method value of the string gender and this will turn the string gender into a proper enumerated value male or female so we got we got male or female from the server right here and we take the string and set it but we have to what we have to provide said gender we have to provide it an enumeration right said gender is looking for an enumeration. So how do we so how do we give it an enumeration? We use the gender enumeration value of the string gender and this sets the gender as an enumeration. Okay, so now we got all the properties set on the P of on the passenger object. Okay, let's break it down into two tutorial. Okay, let's continue and there is a pretty big task up ahead so i'm actually going to do half now and half in the next tutorial so i'm going to create now an array list of passenger 
call it passenger list. And here I'm going to, so now I'm creating a, an array of passenger objects. Okay. So for now, let, let's create a new array. Okay. New array list of passenger objects. And okay. And you have to probably import the class, the package for this class. Okay. Now I'm going to take this this list of passenger objects and add to it our passenger object. So our passenger object is constructed based on how we submitted the form. <laughs> okay. Here and here now when we have that that's all we want to do and let's send back the response so i'm going to do response send redirect now we are redirecting when the form got submitted and everything is correct we're redirecting to a new url we're telling the browser to go to a new URL based on successful successful form submission. And this is a little bit different than the forward method. <laughs> when we do forward to a JSP, then the request stays the same. The request object is not going to get restarted. When we use the send redirect, this is this is as though we went to the browser and went to a URL in this URL line and clicked enter. So when we use send redirect as opposed to forward, as opposed as opposed to just forwarding to a JSP, send redirect is actually a little bit I would say more stronger in the sense that when we use it, it's going to, and pointing the send redirect to some URL, it's going to forget about our current request and response, and it's going to start a brand new request. The browser is going to make a brand new request to this redirect URL, and the brand new request will have its own request and response objects. So uh, this is a little bit kind of more kind of, uh, it's as though we went to the browser and went to and pressed enter. So this is send redirect is more, is really initializing a new request as opposed to forward that simply renders a JSP. We, we will see. We will see more of this in a moment. So now I'm going to say I need to provide it a redirect URL. So let let's just provide it an empty URL. Okay. So now I provided an empty URL. There is absolutely nothing at this empty URL. So let's go to my controllers and add a new servlet. And let's call this servlet uh, main page, for example. And now in the main page servlet, let's change let's change the URL pattern from main page to just a forward slash. So you see um, now. Now this this makes sense. When we redirecting, we are going to hit the main page servlet. We're redirecting to the main page servlet. For now, this P list is local and this passenger that we added is local, right? <laughs> we created local passenger. In truth, since it's a local passenger in this tutorial, when we redirect, this information will be gone. In the next tutorial, we will see how we can 
bind the passenger list to the servlet context. So when we re redirect or when we go submit a second and a third or, you know, and so on, more passengers, then the passenger list remains active, remains saved. For now, this is just a local variable that will be deleted. But in the next tutorial, we will take care of that. Okay, so now in the main page, let's do something in the get. So maybe we can, for example, printer writer out equals to. We, we, let's just print something to that indicates that the form was submitted successfully. This is just for now. Uh, let's make a text HTML. Import the package from Java.io. Oh, uh, okay. You know, well, yes, that's correct. Import the package. From, okay. And now we can just out print. I'm just going to print something very, very basic. Just passenger has been added to list. Okay, that, that's about it. Um, and great, so now we can sub, can look how what happens. Let's open the management, the deployed applications. Let's remove and deploy the web eight application. Let's deploy the current web nine application. There we go. Web nine was deployed, so I'm just okay. So this is because this is web eight. I'm now going to web nine. Okay, so where is our CSS? The CSS got lost in action. Uh, I'm not happy. Why did the CSS get lost? So strange. Sorry, let's. Okay, so let, let's. Good example. What we can do is add remove. Let's remove this again. Then let's click clean. Okay. Then let's add it again. Web 9. Let's hope so. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's view page source. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, so here in the main page, let's save it like this, publish. Okay, so the error was that in this web servlet annotation, okay, so I'm sorry for that, guys. Uh, when I say guys, I mean male and female, of course, uh, equally male, male and female equally. So here, what we, we've, um, we, I've actually, we had this pattern and this confused the system. If we want just the root URL, we should have this pattern just okay there we go that was the mistake so yeah oh, but now we republished we fixed the mistake in these in in the new main page web servlet we had an extra slash okay we fixed it go i'm going to go there again and there we go let's now try to make the form succeed and let's see how it redirects Add new passenger. There we go. Passenger has been added to list. If we have an error, there we go. There was a first name error. Now I'm going to uh, going to put my data again. Add new passenger. It redirected. Passenger has been added to list. In the next tutorial, we will use the list 
effectively currently as we saw the list is a local variable when we redirect it's gone right when we redirect then this local variable that was not saved anywhere will be gone when we do the send redirect next tutorial we will attach the list of passengers to the servlet context so it will be saved when and we can add additional passengers in each new and the list will be saved in the context of our application all right thank you very much uh, and we'll continue in the next tutorial